This election has seen politicians ripping into each other like dogs ripping apart a bone. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means you'd better get some adults in the room and leave the trousers on, for goodness sake. It's a simplification, yes, simplification. now, is it, Nicola? A misleading finish. simplification. Can I, just, can I finish? None of my MPs beat people up with a bed leg. <laughs> Couples therapy can be any couple at all whether it's Winston Peters and David Seymour. In some way, I think, you know, that nobody's listening to each other and really getting it and being able to empathise with what it's like to be that person. Yeah, they can give me a ring. <laughs> and while we can turn the TV off, what happens when you share a life with someone who sits way over on the other end of the political spectrum? I voted today. Did you? You didn't tell me. <laughs> Are you going to tell me who you voted for? If you want me to, I'll tell you. Two ticks blue. OK, so not act. No. That's a win for me. The Leckies have been an item for eight years, married for three, and they've made it work. We sort of focus on the things we did have in common. And you can challenge each other's views from a safe space and a loving space, mm. and it's, yeah, totally reasonable. And I never sit there and go, God, she's got some real crazy views, and she don't think you think the same I about me. I don't. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I think every couple is unique. And, and I think some, if that was okay with a couple, if that didn't cause a divide, then yeah, sometimes it's best not to talk about these things. I definitely hold back on stuff, and you do as well, because I we just do. <laughs> we've been together long enough that we know it's just flogging a dead horse. It's okay that somebody thinks differently or feels differently from you, especially when it comes to our partners. Sometimes it can be very difficult, but I think on the whole, we have to learn to be able to tolerate it. Now when we meet people who are from opposing sides of the political divide, we have a bit more grace and a bit more patience than maybe we would have if we hadn't met. I think it's kind of symptomatic of New Zealand politics as a whole, which is everyone's relatively centrist. I mean, the, the disparity between the two major parties is negligible. In an international comparison, it's very much just different approaches for trying to you know, grow the country and Achieve get a good the same outcome. goals. We've got that much in common that we're very happy living our lives together and spending our lives together and, yeah, can't imagine it any other way. <laughs> Great story. Oh, if you're wondering, by the way, the toddlers voting New Zealand first. He's going to play mum and dad off again. <laughs> they were so cool. If anything else, I just kind of want to go and have a wine with them or go out to dinner. Yeah. They're a cool couple. I think it can work. I think it depends why you're voting for different parties. Like, yeah. if you... If you both believe in getting rid of child poverty and one of you thinks that Labor's approach is best, one of you think National's approach is best, I think you could get on fine. Mm. But if one of you is voting for nasty reasons or one of you is voting to support the vulnerable and the other one's voting purely in self-interest, I think that would be more challenging. Yeah, yeah that, they'd have to be so hot. <laughs> that it, to be so hot it would outweigh your morals. <laughs> and then I think, yeah, yeah I'd be fine with it. Yeah. If they would... I think you're describing half of marriages. <laughs> <laughs>